This is seen as China's most complicated and challenging space exploration mission. Now here comes the 8.2-ton Chang'e 5 lunar probe. As you can see, it's made up of four parts, the ascender and the lander, which touch down on the moon's surface. And then there's also the orbiter and the re-entry capsule, which remain above in lunar orbit after separation. The lunar samples are carried by the ascender, which then transfers these to the re-entry capsule. And it's the capsule here that brings back the precious space cargo back to Earth. About half a century ago, the United States Apollo 11 mission took a giant leap for mankind. And now the Chang'e 5's landing in the northwest region of the near side of the moon can be considered another boat step. Not just for China, but for the world's dreams of better understanding its nearest outer space neighbor. The Mons Romker is located at the northern edge of a vast lava plain called Ocean of Storms. This area has never been visited before. Some of the rock here is believed to be much younger than all the other lunar samples previously collected. And what the lunar probe has excavated from underground will hopefully give us more answers to the volcanic activity and history of the moon. Where I'm standing now is the probe's landing site. Well, life on the moon is inhospitable. Gravity is only one-sixth that of Earth, and there are tremendous swings in temperature. It's scorching hot during the day and way below freezing at night. Plus, no oxygen, no predictable weather, and no oceans of water. Previous studies suggest that one of the major elements in the moon's soil, the helium-3, could serve as a new form of alternative energy source. That was smooth landing. Well, the star of this mission has just arrived. So how is Chang'e 5 conducting its mission in such an unfriendly environment? The probe is armed with a powerful drill that can dig about two meters deep for rock samples and a robotic claw for shoveling some surface material and carrying the cargo. And now the lander has collected around two kilograms of samples it's been decades since last such samples were collected. And these are deposited into a container in the ascender. The ascender then blasts off from the moon. Some 200 kilometers away, the orbiter and re-entry capsule await the handover. The ascender finally meets it in orbit. What takes place next is the most difficult part of the mission, unmanned rendezvous and docking, a breakthrough in technology, a first for China and the world. The samples are transferred to the re-entry capsule. The orbiter and re-entry capsule then start its journey home. Before entering the Earth's atmosphere, the two parts separate. As in a relay race, the re-entry capsule is the anchor leg, making a high-speed re-entry to the finish line and opening a new chapter and unraveling the mysteries of the universe.